Hi there, Tracy Noriega here, paying it forward to you on this Mindful Monday. Thanks so much for joining me. And um, today's topic is going to be close to home. Well, you know what? Really, most of my topics <laughs> are really close to home because I'm basically, as the word implies or title implies of paying it forward to you is whatever I'm paying forward to you is like I am doing it or done it myself or continue to do it. Um, it's a constant in progress. And so today's topic is actually really cool because I personally have been having a hard time doing these videos lately. Um, you could go ahead and attribute it to a lot of things that are going on personal life. Um, you know, being a parent, um, some other personal things, um, internal things and whatnot. And so, you know, what happens then? <laughs> Self doubt, you know, um, I don't feel ready. I don't feel good. Today's not a good day. You find excuses. And of course, um, being a parent too, you've got 10,000 other things that need to be done or have to get done. And, you know, the kids always coming with something else doesn't right. Plus just everything else there is in life. Right. So I've been having that problem and I needed to look for some motivation to do this. And cause I've kind of fallen off of getting them all nice and stockpiled and having them ready for you guys that I could just put them out there. Now I'm finding myself catching up. And so I'm looking for something today. What, what, who can inspire me? And first person I, I just asked who can help me with this. And it was Mel Robbins and totally know her five, four, three, two, one. Don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's an awesome little trick to do. I do it in the morning and, um, you know, I'm learning different places to use the five, four, three, two, one. And, um, we will speak about it briefly, but I probably should do another one on just that. Anyway, she, I found this whole other one on imposter syndrome. And I was like, imposter syndrome. And it was just that whole thought of when you don't, you know, you're fearing, um, doing something like this, you know, I still don't call myself a YouTuber. Um, I kind of, it's like a wannabe YouTuber. That doesn't even sound good either. Does it? But you know, here I am and, um, I'm doing it, but then the fear starts in the self doubt, you know, I'm not ready. I'm not good enough. Who am I? And the whole imposter syndrome is like the fear of I'm going to be found out that I don't know crap, you know? So, um, that was one of the, um, little, uh, you know, a, a letter and asking, I think it was on a tweet or something that a question that came in for Mel about. So I was just all ears about it. And I loved what she said. She said, you know, the, the, the thing of it is you're not going to overcome those thoughts because that's what he wanted to know. How can I overcome these thoughts? How can I, you know, get past them? And she goes, you know, you're not, you're, you can't overcome these thoughts because they become patterns. They become behavioral things that we're doing. The only way is through action. So the only way to get past the imposter syndrome and utilizing that five, four, three, two, one to just get yourself ready, get that, you know, prefrontal cortex, like ready to go, ready to, all right, what are we doing? Five, four, three, two, one, and just do the action, whatever it is that you're avoiding doing. So like for me today was actually this video and I was really, really tempted to go, okay, I'll put it aside and I'll do it later. But I just decided, you know what, I'm getting out the laptop and I'm just going to do it now before I go and do all my other things, because then it'll just become another reason why I didn't get to it. Right. And then we add on all of those things in our mental thought of, see, you wasted time. You did this. You shoulda, woulda, coulda, all that stuff. So that was her big thing about imposter syndrome grows when you listen to it. And once you start listening to it and you freeze up, you know, it, it just all comes in, you know, that's uh, Gina and Felicia is who I call them. Right. Then they start talking about, they start s s talking smack about what I'm doing, what I'm not doing, what I could do better and all of this stuff. Right. Nothing good to say. Right. So, and once you do that, then they stick around and then you're stuck with them. It's like harder to get rid of them. Right. And all the other fl thoughts flooding in and whatnot. So the key to blow it up is to blow it up with action and by just proving to yourself that you can do it. And 
The other key is, like she said, the feelings are normal. Like they're just not going to stop. You know, it's not going to stop overnight. You know, it's going to stop over repetition again of us doing what it is that we really want to be doing and we're working through it and making the action. So the problem isn't really whether or not you have the skills. The problem is that we stop. We, we stop in our tracks once our, our, our pattern of thinking kicks in and then we, we stop, the self-doubt creeps in and then we just, we just lose it. Then Felicia and, and Gina start up or whoever they are named for you, um, you know, the peanut gallery. And then you just start, you know, then, then it's over, right? Then we just succumb. So you, you must just take action. So like doing this right now for me, it's just a five, four, three, two, one. And one of my mantras and things I've said in a lot of groups I'm in and have realized myself and even through meditation is the only way to move through the feelings is to go through them. You know, we want to go around them. People say, get over it, you know, just forget it and whatnot. But really the key is to just move through them, you know, acknowledge them. They're there. Okay. Right now I feel like this, but you know what? I want to do this much more than this. And this isn't real. Like you just can't listen to it. It's just like, bup, 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 you know, just tell them just, you know, and, and, and don't even engage in them. Just turn around and decide five, four, three, two, one, I'm going to do this. The way to move through it is to move through it. Don't listen to it take action. Okay. So that is my takeaway today. That is how I just did this video for you. And, um, just as I'm trying to be your best friend, I think one of the big things I'm finding out is we all have to be our own best friend, right? So, um, I'm going to start that the BYOBFF, you know, being your own best friend forever, right? Um, we really do know what it is we need and want. And, um, we've got to be that best friend to advocate and stand up from and be that cheerleader and say, yes, you can do it. So I'm telling you, yes, you can do it. Forget the imposter syndrome, you know, let's take action. Five, four, three, two, one, bring a smile to your face and just go for it. Because by doing that over and over again, we are going to build self-confidence because that's the other key. Confidence is knowing that you did it anyway, right? No matter what it looks like, you did it. And that, that just gets it going. So there you go, my friends. And thank you so much. If you have any comments below, if you want to try this or you have tried it, um, I don't know, whatever you want to share, share down below. Comments are totally welcome. Please like it, subscribe, and what else? Take a look at some other videos. And um, like I said, if there's some ideas you have or any f feedback, I totally welcome it. All right, you guys take care. Have a wonderful Mindful Monday. Remember to be your own best friend forever. And I wish you happiness, love, prosperity, and abundance for all. Cheers.